Hello everybody, Assalamu alaikum, welcome back. It's me, Shana Jannat, and today I'm gonna discuss about human female breast or mammary gland. The breast or mammary gland is the most important structure present in pectoral region, and mammary gland is found in both male and female, but in male it is inactive or underdeveloped, and in the female it is well developed after puberty. And Mammary gland is a modified sweat gland. It is modified sweat gland. And the primary function of mammary gland is to produce milk in order to nourish an infant or newborn baby. And this process is called lactation. lactation so now see its structure This is the section of mammary gland and these are ribs. Vertically, mammary gland extends from second rib to the sixth rib. And the muscle between ribs, this is of course intercostal muscle. intercostal muscle and this muscle this is pectoralis major muscle and this blue one this is This is pectoral fascia or deep fascia. So th the mammary gland present on the uh, pectoral fascia present on pectoral or deep fascia. and mammary gland present in superficial fascia present in
superficial fascia then these are these memory alveoli and then these these are memory duct then this part this is memory ampulla and after memory ampulla this narrow duct called lactiferous duct and this lactiferous duct together make a uh, hair one projection and this projection is called nipple nipple and the shadow on the nipple have a pinkish area this area is called areola and these are lobes lobes embedded with adipose tissue adipose tissue or subcutaneous fat and each breast made up of 15 to 20 lobes 15 to 20 lobes the basic components of a mature mammary gland are the alveoli okay these are alveoli if i make one alveolus here this is mammary alveoli this is duct and mammary alveoli lined with milk secreting cuboidal cell these are cuboidal cell and this cuboidal cell surrounded by the myothelial cell and this cuboidal cell secret milk hair four hormone play an important roles in this system first see the names of this hormones estrogen progesterone prolactin and oxytocin estrogen and progesterone hormone stimulate breast development during puberty and pregnancy pregnancy okay then estrogen help to development of this duct okay this duct and progesterone help to development of this alveolus and the prolactin now contributes during pregnancy and responsible for the alveoli making milk then oxytocin 
and oxidation helps to the ejection of milk helps to ejection of milk so this four hormone play an important role in this system then so milk produce hair in alveolus then from alveolus it go to the duct then from duct to ampulla then from an ampulla go to the lactiferous duct and from lactiferous duct finally milk come out to throw the nipple and when baby suck the nipple then milk come out through this path so this is all for today i will be back soon till then take care and keep watching my videos and also subscribe to my channel allah hafiz